Drawing is really a, a way of thinking. I mean, when we draw, it's actually, uh, it's very rare that we draw over a blank page too. We build a lot of buildings and you go visit them and you're very proud of them and you really don't process but then you always think back about that first sketch that you've done like these first few sketches that where a big idea came through or even like a small detail you really resolved really, really well. You always think about this when you see the final results and that's very rewarding. There's nothing actually quicker to start to communicate ideas between two people that are trying to collaborate on something than actually just drawing something in front of them. The lag time of actually waiting to have represented what you're really thinking about, you lose the inspiration moment, right? It's what people don't understand is usually I don't know what to draw. <laughs> You keep on scribbling and you kind of stumble upon it. Or problem solving, you kind of know what you have to build, but you don't know exactly how it goes together. And if you don't sketch through it like eight times, you're never going to get there. So I sketch all the time. So sketching is really just an integral part of our communication process. It's this constant process of going back and forth between Plan section and axonometric and the pencil is the fastest way to, to make it happen. Sort of the fluid connection between your mind and, and your hand and the paper. There's something really nice about the fluidity and the lack of precision with the pencil and, and a piece of trace versus needing to be super precise in the computer and working everything out. Yeah, I really can't imagine being an architect without, without sketching. It's, it's just such a natural way of, of working out ideas. I draw a lot. I think there's something sort of base about moving your hand and thinking through something. We'll draw small details in a building and in the next second we're drawing where they sit in an entire section of the building. But in both those exercises, the freedom to be able to do it with your hand is somehow of benefit. We use it more as a tool literally to communicate. It's conversational, I would say more than presentational. Because I still think those tactile things are really important and sort of fundamental to being a human designer.